Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my September haul because I am cut off. If I buy one more book this month, that's it. No, no more. No can do. Because remember I told you I was only supposed to have one book come in this month? Well, it turns out it was actually two because I forgot that I had pre-ordered a different one as well several months ago and didn't write it in my calendar. But two books I was supposed to pre-order, that is not the result. That is not all I have. And that is as a result of an unfortunate encounter with a very nice Barnes & Noble assistant, associate, whatever who actually answered my questions very well and showed me way too many good things. So I'll go ahead and show you this huge mess of a haul, starting with the two that I was supposed to get and stop. It's not what happened. So first, the one I knew I was getting, the only one I thought I was getting, but turns out I was wrong, is Oku Volume 8 by Fumi Yoshinaga. If you've watched my manga show video, you know that I really love this series. The author also did Antique Bakery and several other series of several shonen eye ones or yai ones but this one is not that this is an alternate history set in Edo period Japan where an illness has affected all of the men in the country and as a result a lot of the men have died and the women have had to take up the responsibility for the country in everything so literally farm working business, the shogun, everything is run by women and men are actually very carefully kept. They're treated like royalty for the most part on the one hand, but then on the other hand, like women pay to sleep with them because they all want to have children, but there's there's such a small number of guys that are left that the selection's really small, so guys just get sort of pimped out, to put it bluntly. And this series mostly follows the men who are part of the inner chambers, so the shogun's collection of dudes, basically. It follows them and all the different shoguns who have come since Iemitsu. Iemitsu was the first one who died and was replaced by a woman with the name Iemitsu because all of the women who go into high levels of business take on male names. And the main reason for this is one, tradition, and two, because when foreigners come to the palace, they keep the shogun behind a screen and they make the foreigners think that the shogun is a man. So it's really interesting. It absolutely has fascinating um, things to say about gender and potential changes in the historical timeline and all kinds of stuff. I highly recommend the series. I have not read volume eight yet and that is because of the ridiculousness that I've been reading for the last three weeks. So I will get to this very soon. I usually don't like to leave my manga lying around unread because if I do, I tend to forget about it. Second, the book that came in that I forgot that I had ordered is uh, Sailor Moon Short Stories Volume 1. So even though Sailor Moon isn't my favorite favorite series, I still really like it. It was one of the earliest anime and manga that I ever read way back in the 90s. So this one I just wanted sort of to round out my collection and to see what it's about because I actually didn't know they had this out. But oh, aren't they so cute? Chibi Chibi Moon and Chibi Moon together. So, oh, they're so pink. So in addition to those, after I went through my manga shelf with you guys, I decided to go ahead and pick up Tsubasa, Those With Wings, Volume 3, because as I said the words, I only have Volumes 1 and 2, and I figured I shouldn't bother with Volume 3 until I read them, I remembered that a lot of manga have gone out of print, and I absolutely did not want to be the person who didn't get Volume 3 and then couldn't find it anywhere and decided she liked Volumes 1 and 2, and wow, wish I could finish the story. So as a result, I got this used. But actually, it looks a lot better than the first two that I got because they had been sort of water damaged, but that one looks great. So the other two things that I got, because I was going um, through the Tokyo Pop website when I was trying to, you know, figure out if they were around again or not, and found this, The Other Side of the Mirror by Joe Chen. And Joe Chen is absolutely one of my favorite artists. Uh, I found out about her when I was in animation school and she inspired me so there's nothing on the back I don't know why I'm showing that to you she absolutely inspired me as an artist and I love everything she does ever so this entire um, series here was drawn by her I'm gonna read 
the heck out of this. Okay, so we all know this is coming. And man, this is laughable. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. What is wrong with me? Yes, yes, I bought seven volumes of the Caliandro series this month alone. This is ridiculous. I could have eaten like five dinners off of this. Maybe not five, maybe two. But still, ugh, why? Why do I like to hurt myself? But to give you a really, really, really quick summary, since I've already read them for the most part, liked it okay, liked it okay, liked it okay, liked it, really liked it, suffering horribly, haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so most of these next books are a result of me going to Barnes and Nobles and having a bookseller come by and say, hey, can I help you with anything? And me saying, hey, are most of your horror books in the fiction and mystery sections or do they have their own section? Even though I knew very well that they're mixed up into the two other sections. This isn't Borders, they don't get their own section. Anyway, she said to me, yes, they're mixed into fiction and mystery, but Mark can help you. He's at the customer service desk and he reads a lot of horror. So thank you, Mark. Thank you for making me buy all of this. And there's a lot more that I wanted to get that Mark read, recommended to me, but I didn't because I could only afford so much. So here is what Mark recommended to me and that I purchased, and then I'll tell you what else he recommended to me that I'm going to go back for when I can, or get from the library. And I don't know why I'm talking so fast that I can't breathe. I should probably stop. First, I Am Legend. I think we have all heard of I Am Legend just based on the movie, although it turns out that that and this have nothing to do with each other really whatsoever, except in the most shallow of terms. Or at least that's what I understand the case to be. But I haven't read it yet, and I'm going to, but first I just have to get through this other bane of my existence and we'll get around to it. I bought this one because I thought I already had a copy of The Haunting of Hill House, which is the one Mark actually recommended to me, but it turns out that what I actually have is House of Seven Gables, which is not the same thing at all. So I'll have to go back for Haunting of Hill House, but in the meantime, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. Next we have Paprika by Yasutaka Tsutsui. Aw, his name is Tsutsui. I know a character with that name. Anyway, Paprika the novel, which is what Paprika the anime movie is um, based on, and I didn't know it was a novel, so this is awesome. I can't wait to read that, and I like the cover, it's kind of awesome too. Next we have Joe Hill's 20th Century Ghost. This, Mark said, is his favorite horror-style ghost storybook of all time. And since I like ghosts, the title really appealed to me, so definitely hoping I really like this one. I have recently finished the audiobook of Nosferatu. Uh, I should probably just give a slight discussion of that in my September wrap-up, but I'll let you know what I thought about it. So, hoping to like this one a lot. The other things Mark recommended that I did not buy are um, a couple of Dan Simmons books, although I did get one for free, I think The Terror, I downloaded it for free on Amazon the other day. So I do have that one, but that was The Terror and something else and I can't remember what it was called. But the other one, again, Haunting of Hill House, and several books by Stephen King, including The Talisman and I think it's called The Black House. Also The Shining because he said Dr. Sleep was coming out soon, and Dr. Sleep is a sequel, apparently, to The Shining. I wish Stephen King's books were a little more manageable, because I really don't want to have to carry that around for probably several weeks. So aside from the ones that were recommended to me, I did pick up two other books that equate to the horror genre, um, because I just happened to be at Half Price Books, and they were really cheap. So, let the right one in. I know there was a movie made about this, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. I've been meaning to watch the movie, but it is subtitled, and while I'm totally okay with subtitles, and I'm actually really good at watching subtitled films, I haven't had sort of the attention span for it because I have been falling asleep during movies, and you obviously don't want to fall asleep during something that you have to read. That would be pointless. It's probably pointless to fall asleep during movies you don't have to read also, but that's just how I roll. Then I got The Devotion of Suspect X by Keigo Higashino. I saw this at Barnes & Noble's a while ago, only it had a different cover, um, and I didn't get it because I just wasn't sure if it's what I wanted to read. Well, I have since decided, oh well, I'm going to read it anyway. And now you guys, and now for the last one, for the one I am most excited about that I did not expect to even find 
yeah, this one excites me the most. So I was watching Heroes of Cosplay week before this past episode, and Yaya Han and Ricky and Monica were um, talking about what they were going to do for their group cosplay and skit. And Yaya walks over to her shelf and she says, what do you think about this? And she picks up this book. And I was like, oh, oh, that exists, that exists. I, I need it. I have to have it. This is my favorite video game, you guys, for the PS3. Alice Madness Returns. Oh, wow. And there is an art book for it. There is an art book for it. So I went and I got the art book. Oh, I just hit the camera. I went and got the art book. See? Oh, my God. For the Alice the Madness Returns. I'm going to pull up the one with all of the Alice's and her dresses and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love it. Yes, we do. It's awesome. So awesome. This is a good book, you guys. Really good. Especially for um, me coming out of animation and game design. Just, yeah. Super, super awesome. I was so excited. And, and I had a credit on my Amazon account, so I only had to pay $5 for it. It was awesome. So that's my book haul. Lots of horror slash Japanese books again, and lots of manga, and lots of Kelly Andros. Way too much of that. I never want to do that ever again. I don't know. But this. This makes any frustration worth it this month, this book right here. Oh my heavens. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed that, and let me know if you have questions about any of these books. I'll tell you what I know, assuming I know anything. Obviously the ones I haven't read I don't know much about, but yeah, let me know if you've read any of them though because I would love to hear your opinions on anything that I've just picked up. So, okay guys, thanks a lot and I'll talk to you later. Bye!